Hi, my name is Meredith McEwen. I'm a DLS and Aldean ISD. We're going to be going over pre-production. Pre-production might sound scary, but don't worry, it's not. It's a lot of goals setting, organization, and different things like that. Yes, you're thinking, oh, more of that. But you know, that's how we get things done, and that's how we make sure all of our shots are done, and all of our scenes are completed, and our scripts are written out so our actors know what they're doing. We don't want to have to start editing a film and go back and reshoot something because we were not prepared during the pre-production process. This, this presentation will be found in the film workshop group on Schoology and all of the links that I will be going over will be in there too. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Uh, this is by Benjamin Franklin. I completely agree. So if you're not prepared, prepare to fail at it and it's not going to turn out great. So we're going to be going over ideas. So brainstorming, creativity, um, combining ideas of your group, storyboarding, that means developing the plot, roles, and shot lists. And then we're going to do script writing and planning and practice scenes. Idea. Everything begins with an idea. That means that even how small it is, if it's just an object you want to go based off of, or even an, a complete storyline that you have. No idea is too small or too big. So we're going to be talking about brainstorming. That includes project ideas, goals, themes, research, and workflow. So we're going to be talking about those throughout the time. Project ideas is the first one, and this just helps you put together everything to complete your project. Um, so basically this is where you can list out all of your, your group's names, the project title, the purpose of the video, the audience you want to reach, and maybe the length you want to have. I would not put in a 30 minute film in here because y'all would not be able to meet those goals. Um, maybe like a five to eight minute one would be good theme of it educational documentary tv reality just depends what are the elements are you interviewing is it live action is it animation things like that what equipment you need i most of y'all i know have only phones and that's okay what kind of light when are you going to film things like that costumes sets and props all need to be listed out to make sure you have them on set because you don't want to have a for a sword fight and not have swords um, I mean, they could be fake swords, foams, things like that, but they still have to have a sword fight. The location, you don't want to be talking about that you're in a grocery store, but then not be in a grocery store and be in a grassy field. Or say you're talking about being in the car, but you're sitting in your living room in front of the TV. Doesn't make sense. You want to make sure your locations meet the scenes. Um, we will be talking about producers and directors. You want to make uh, script writers, camera editors, um, editor and talent. You want to make sure everybody knows their roles and are they fulfilling them? Do they each have a goal? Are you sharing roles? Or do you have everybody being a camera editor? Is everybody also being an actor? That's okay. Just as long as everybody knows the goals. And then you also have a pro uh, project phase. When are you going to meet your due dates, your timelines, things like that. The other sheet in here is your goal sheet. What is your goal for the film? How are you going to meet these goals? What exactly is that you want to achieve with the skill? Is it educational? Are you showing a cooking show? Are you showing a reality? Are you telling the story of your life? What are those goals? How is it? Next thing is how is it going to be measured? How will you be, know you've achieved it? Uh, is it attainable? Are you going to be able to meet, um, to film all this in a certain amount of time? It depends. Are you going to be able to stay on your um, schedule? That's up to you. Um, time bound. When will you achieve it? We have a due date for the film, so you want to make sure you achieve that. You also have a big picture and daily goals. You want to make sure everybody knows each one of these goals and how they are accomplished. Theme. Theme is important. You don't want to have, um, basically, you're talking about grocery store workers the whole entire time, but not everybody that actually works in a grocery store. You want to make sure you're keeping your theme throughout, your color schemes. Uh, basically, it's a branding of the film. 
research. You want to make sure you're researching um, things that are actually happening um, and how maybe a grocery store looks or a sword fight looks. You want to make sure you're holding your swords correctly or you want to make sure that if you're talking about maybe being in an office, what do they wear in the office? What are some costumes? Um, some dress attire for the maybe the grocery store or an office place, things like that. You want to make sure you're researching so you know each aspect of when you film, you're prepared. You also want to meet your workflow. You want to make sure you're meeting, everybody knows how it's going to go, how is it going to be filmed, things like that. So goal setting, start at the end. What is your ultimate goal, your big picture? What is going to be your final project? This is all what your team needs to decide before they even start doing the other goals I just went over. Make sure it's clear and so that everybody knows about the goal and the progress that's going to be made. Less is more. The fewer goals you have, the more you're able to focus on them. Try having two goals, an ultimate and an immediate. This applies for each area of your life. So you want to have an ultimate goal, the big goal, and your immediate that you need to film or plan out. So if you're just doing your first planning meeting, you want to have a goal of, you want to get done if you're planning in 45 minutes to an hour. The next hour you want to spend getting all your shot list done to make sure what order you want to shoot in. The next is pen to paper, write it down. If you're planning through Google Meets or something like we're doing now, it's Fingers to keyboard, which way you do it, write down your goals. Make sure that you're sharing them with the group and that they're all, everybody knows about the goals. This helps you to commit and focus to it, as opposed to think and dream. So you're narrowing it down and you're going to be able to achieve those dreams of your film. Okay, the next part is storyboarding. All good ideas start as a bad idea. That's why it takes so long. So this is from Steven Spielberg. Remember how many films he has out there in the world? He has a lot. So when we think about those films, let's think about all the books he's failed at writing, the films that didn't make it to the big picture. Um, Rose Red is one of them. That's only a TV movie. It didn't make it to the big picture like some of his other ones. So those are things to think about. The things we're going to be going over is storyboarding, roles, and shot list. For storyboarding, we're going to create a plot. We're going to create a storyboard with all the scenes in order. You never want to go out of order because if you think about some of the films that are out there, you know, let's say Jurassic Park, you know, the raptors didn't attack the T-Rex until the end. Well, you're not going to put that in the first square. You're going to put the opening scenes. You're going to channel out the scenes, the sets, things like that in the beginning, and then progress with your character development. Then you're anything about the ending, how are we getting there? And then I have some storyboard examples in there. I'll show you a little bit later. What's everyone's role? Who's the cameraman? Are you switching roles from cameraman? Do y'all both have the idea of how you wanna hold the cameras? How everybody's gonna film, things like that. And thinking actually about the shots that you wanna see, is it over the shoulder, forward, is it moving? Is it set still? And then organizing those shot lists, just like I was talking about, and then build a report in the sequence. You don't really want to film out of order because that way when you upload your films, you can set them in order as you go. So storyboarding. We're going to use these printouts. So I made a copy of it. You can use this one or You can use this one. You can put um, pictures from the web in here. Use it. You can share this with your group. Um, I would have draw the picture. You can put text down here below. You can put it where it says audio or how you want to set scene. Maybe you want a line that you're going off of. This is just setting how you want the story to go, the plot. So you want, remember, you have to develop your characters. You want to make sure you have a climax in here. Um, is there a solution for the climax, the conflict, something like that? So those are all things to think about. And then you can just upload images right into here. Let's go over the slides. So story bar you use to organize these printouts. You can also use them on Google Docs. 
makes production so much easier when you have a storyboard or something to go off of. When you're storyboard a video, it's setting a plan for production includes all the shots you'll need in order that you will have been laid out um, and how you will visually interact with the script. The, story, the video storyboard is starting board and suggests lines around with what you can plan in your coverages, all the angles you can shoot. This also comes in handy when you're making your video as it ensures you won't forget any scenes and helps you piece together the video according to your vision so that you're making sure that you're hitting all those points through the storyboard. Questions you might want to consider to include what's your setting, just like I talked before. How many characters? You don't want to crowd the frame. You want to make sure you're following everything that Chad will be talking about later. Um, do you need important props there in the shot? I know we gave a certain things that we wanted to see. So are you including those? Um, do you want close up? Do you want wide angles? What kind of transitions are you coming in? Do you want swipes? Do you want jumps? Do you want slow motion, pan in, pan out? Those are all things you need to think about when you're doing your storyboard. And especially any lighting. The lighting depends on the type of mood. So you don't want a bright, cheery lighting for a sad moment in your film. Maybe you also don't want a fight scene to have, not a fight scene, but maybe um, you don't want to say it's morning or midday and it'd be dark out. So those are things you need to think about when you're doing it. You don't want to have a dark alley moment in a sunny day and it doesn't feel like a dark alley. So how to make these storyboards. The squares are your visual video frames from one scene to the next. Think of these squares as the video frames and each square is a different shot or a scene that will take place. You can sketch them out by hand or create them on computer. If you sketch them out by hand, just make sure you take a picture and upload them so your team can see it too. Make sure you leave space to write notes and lines for the script beneath it. We also have a script you can write on the back or on different pieces of paper. When you add your script beneath each picture, it could just be a summary of each scene instead of writing a full script out um, if you don't have time to write a whole script out. Write the lines from the script that will be spoken in the scene and jot down some notes that you want to happen. Maybe if they have to turn their head, give a hug, a handshake, whatever those kind of things. It's kind of like a comic book. You want to feel like it's coming to life. Um, your storyboard should read like a comic book so readers and team members can get a sense of exactly what you what will happen in the video. Now sketching. Next you should sketch out how each scene will look visually. Note that your storyboard doesn't have to be incredibly detailed. You don't have to draw in all of the props and use all the colors. It could just be black and white and pencil. Hint, you don't have to have a great drawer. Stick figures it is completely okay. Bad drawings are far better than drawings that take two to three hours. A picture is worth a thousand words. Roles. Your producer, director, videographer, sound and all that. You can go back to this sheet where it is the project proposal. And you make sure you list it out. If you need to write your goals on this piece of paper, you can do that too. So each person knows those goals. And if you're, the if you're more than one person as a camera operator, Make sure they have the same techniques for each shooting of the filming of the video. So we're going to be telling a story. So when you're telling the story through your storyboard or you're writing your script out, this is just helpful ways to kind of bring it full circle. If you need to help you, if you don't have pictures help you, you want to write it out, this might be helpful. Or if you need to just tell in your story through your storyboard, this is, could be helpful too. When you're creating an event, when you're creating a narrative and developing characters, we well, want to make sure you're uh, connecting with your audience and how they feel about the film and that they're connecting with your film. The way to tell that the story is a vi will vary depending on the style and objectives of your video. For example, an explainer video might feature a straightforward narrative introducing a problem and describing the steps on how to solve it. A video, a video focused on abstract themes might instead use fictional characters to connect with the audience and takeaways. 
Either way, keep in mind, traditional story structure, your video should have a clear beginning, middle, and end, just like any story. Each section should relate back to your objective and goals that we've already set. Okay, so we're going to be talking about scripts now. Um, I have included some writing tips and voice uh, narration tips I'll be going over. So we're going to get the story. So let's get your story on its feet. That means let's make sure our setting is correctly. We don't want to be talking about an office place and be in the middle of a grocery store. Where should the story take place? Did you write that in your storyboard or did you not? Um, is it at home, at the office, at the airport? Make sure it's correct. You don't want to be... Um, have a film that's set in a movie theater and be sitting in your car. It just doesn't make sense. Um, the characters, who's telling the story? Is it a newscaster? Is it a person narrating the whole film? Or is it just the actors speaking and have a narrative going on? Um, narrative style is one of the places. Are there characters? Or is it just a silent film? Does it have animals? Things like that. Should the characters speak to each other like a TV? Or should they be silent? Or is it all narrative and they're just acting it out? It just depends how you wrote your script and your storyboard. Structure. Should you start at the beginning? Because that's the most simplest thing to do. Or should you start at the end and show how you got to the end? Um, it just depends on the results you would like. Some of the writing tips that they include in here are... Active voices, are you keeping it monotone? Is it light? Is it fresh? What? How is your voice portraying your character? Is it monotone, not having any pitch or in your voice? Are you angry? Are you yelling? Are you excited and your voice gets higher? It just depends. When you're acting something out and you're yelling at someone, you're very angry. You don't want to be in a high-pitched voice going, I hate you. You want to make sure you're changing your voice levels and very making it articulate. You want to keep the writing simple so you're not over making sure all the actors are not have a lot of words to go off of and have to remember. And you want to make sure the actors actually read their scripts before they get to the scene, the day to the acting, because you don't want them trying to act out a scene with all these words on a paper and not have them memorized or read or know the gist of them. Be completely clear when you're writing a script. Um, it even has some um, things to avoid. You don't want to use commas, um, using numbers. This is all included in there. You have your active voice, um, script writing techniques, um, how to develop characters, points that need to be made, outlines, things like that. So you can go over with your group. We also have voice narration tips, um, practice reading, um, your copy out loud. Um, don't read it in your head because it does sound different when you read it out loud. Maybe record yourself a couple of times. Short sentences work best because you don't want to be stumbling over, over it. Just like I'm saying um a lot, I'm stumbling over my words. Um, mark your phrases. Avoid um, over smooth and constant pace. You don't want it to be the same consistent like this. Punch your voice. I just went over that. Your anger. You want to make sure you're using your angry voice and your facial expressions. Um, things like that. Organize your list. So we're going to go back to the shot list that um, is back up here. Right here is organize your shot list. Um, you want to make sure you have your locations, your lighting, your camera angles, and your setup. Um, right here you can put your names, your projects, what shots you need to have, locations, Props, because you don't want to show up to a scene without all your props, and then you can't shoot it. Talent, who needs to be there, and they need to know that they need to be there. Any special equipment that you need. That way, I would list them out all in the order of your film. So, you can film them in that order so it's easier to upload. Again, before anything else, preparation is the key to success. So, make sure you have all your ideas written down, your goals. Your storyboarding is very planned out and ready to go. Your roles and your shots and your list, everyone gets the roles and the details of the list and your script is written out and short. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out. Just remember, please work as a team to get this done. 
um, planning is the key because once you actually plan everything out, you can complete all this in a timely manner. Um, you won't meet every goal and that's okay. Um, just as long as you're getting the finished product that you want and you're setting the goals that you would want, that's o as long as you try to meet them, that's okay. Remember, there's no bad ideas, work as a team, and y'all can do this.